The tremolos at the beginning, angrier. They don't even have to be in tune, they can just be horrid. And, Did you uh, hear it? The tremolos? Harder? More angry? My name's Charlie Bates. I'm a composer, arranger, piano player from London. I was so nervous with Brexit and coronavirus and everything. Once I was here, I was just so happy to be here. <laughs> yeah, this is a project about finding new composers for the band. Kind of contest, um, but it's not really a winner. We had a lot of winners, in fact. More than 200 people have applied for it and we have been playing and playing a lot of scores and then we have made some selection that we want to invite and meet those people. Uh, they asked me if I wanted to come over for, for a week and bring a load of new music and um, some older music as well but mostly new music like in lockdown. So One of them is uh, Lullaby for Trish which is, um, is a, I actually wrote this as a, as a piano piece originally quite a simple piano piece for Trish who was, who was my uh, grandmother. She wasn't musical as such, but she liked the, the pretty, simple things. It's based around just very simple, simple chords, quite just... You know, nice, um, we call them diatonic chords, like... That was the main thing behind it, of just trying to keep it... Not trying to overcomplicate it and make it silly or really clever, I just wanted to make it nice. It's quite a contrast to the other piece that you've heard today, um, which is just really angry and hardly has a key centre at all. There's a big section in it where, <laughs> where everyone just drops out and the, and, and the band are playing and it's, it's very fast. It's, I think it's, you know, it's nearly 300 BPM is, um, and they've got to play with no drums and no percussionists, which was pretty mean. After having lots of chats with Marcio, the percussionist, who's just incredible, we, we worked out a way that he could sort of just contribute and add some sort of textual stuff during it without like it being like a big groove, because there's so much of that anyway in the tune. Gay, I heard it, he, he sort of said, oh, this looks like we, we should be able to do this fairly quickly. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> you haven't heard it yet. <laughs> I'm a big band geek. I, I can listen to like <laughs> a big brass section all day. So um, every time they play, he had some big top F sharps. I just can't sort of help but smile, which is really fun. There was no target as such, it was mainly just I wanted to enjoy it and make some friends and to hear the music and, and to be happy with the product basically and so far so good. Great.